I'm Ben Gertzel. I'm the CEO of SingularityNet, the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance and True AGI. The 10 reckonings are 10 critical questions about the future of AGI and humanity that we need to come to terms with together so that we can effectively you know, guide ourselves toward a benevolent AGI future. Well, the purpose question is a sort of two-part question, right? One is, why are we building this thing? And the second thing is, if we achieve it, what's our purpose after we do it? And we're on the brink. I mean, the wolf of AI is at the door. Now, maybe it's gonna be great for us, but maybe it'll be terrible for humanity. So we better discuss it. And if we're going to create roadblocks or guide maps, now is the time to do it. On the path between where we are now and the future where beneficial AGI, you know, helps us all to have a better life. But the way large governments and corporations are structured, they're after their own interests as organizations, rather than after the interests of the human species as a whole. Can we cure, you know, world hunger? Can we stop, you know, yeah. infant mortality? Can we cure malaria and disease again? Yeah. I mean, there's lots and lots of questions out there that we have not solved. And having a you know, super intelligence would be very useful. Well, AI can help us thrive. There's no question about it. In fact, I, I, I've been pushing this new idea that we should really be using it, um, not only like in political ways, but also I think in cultural ways, everything. But all of a sudden, now that AI is really starting to be here, I'm really starting to worry about what's gonna happen to people, their jobs. What happens if we have an intelligence that's smarter than us? How do you solve that? Well, you make the AGI fundamentally decentralized in its underpinning so that no single party can, can own and control it, but rather so that it is shaped by the collective wisdom and intelligence of the whole human species. And this is, it's a technical problem and it's also a political and, and sociological problem, but it's something that, that can be done. I've been doing AI research since at least the early 1980s and it's never been more exciting than, than right now when we're potentially just a few years away from a breakthrough to beneficial AGI. And now I think people are starting to look at the practical control problem. So there's increasing concern about like, are a few major militaries and a handful of large tech companies really gonna control the first artificial general intelligence and, and, and the first digital being that's more intelligent and capable than us. You're seeing people's concerns get greater and greater over time, but also get more and more sort of practical and hard-nosed and, and realistic. None of us knows for sure when AI is going to cross the threshold to full human-level general intelligence. We're, we're certainly not there yet, in spite of what some people might say, but it seems plausible we could get there within a few years from now. Raising these 10 reckonings right now is quite critical and really one of the more critical things we could be focusing on.